Hello ladies and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the old money aesthetic. Now the old money aesthetic has become really popular on YouTube and TikTok. So I decided to do a video on the old money aesthetic while also sharing some things that we can take away from the old money aesthetic that can help us with our level up journey. Now the old money aesthetic is derived from people who are wealthy, who have a very classic and elegant style. Now I am not saying that you have to be wealthy or have a ton of money, but the information I'm going to be sharing with you today is simply to refine and help you with what you already have. So if you are on a level up journey in becoming more elegant and graceful, then refining yourself in terms of how to speak properly, and dress appropriately for the occasion that you are attending is definitely a key component for the level up journey. And also on this journey, ladies, we have to be aware of our behaviors and habits that we adopted whilst growing up. So if this is something you're interested in, then please watch the video to the very end because I'm going to be sharing with you my interpretation of a look that I created from what I had in my closet that is an example of the old money aesthetic. So be sure to watch the video to the very end. And if you are landing on my channel for the first time, my name is Teresa, and this channel is all about leveling up and becoming more elegant and graceful. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So I wanted to talk about some of the habits of the old money aesthetic. And the first thing I want to talk about is speech, speaking eloquently and soft spoken and also very articulate is a common trait of the old money aesthetic. They are careful with their choice of words and they are careful not to use slang when in certain social settings. So proper grammar is an integral part of the old money aesthetic. Keep in mind, ladies, some of these things from the old money aesthetic, we can adapt and refine what we are doing today. So with regard to clothing, the old money aesthetic never showed clothing with big brand labels. That includes t-shirts, handbags, dresses. In the old money aesthetic, they never showed labels on the exterior of their clothing, but instead the old money aesthetic wore clothing that was well fitted, well pressed, and sometimes tailored to fit their body, but they were always free of logos or brand names on the exterior of their clothing. The next thing I want to talk about in the old money aesthetic is jewelry. Now, what type of jewelry did they wear in this era? Now, after doing some research, I found that in the old money aesthetic, they wore very simple gold jewelry and pearls were usually standard with whatever they wore. Very simple pearls, very simple gold jewelry, and something to the effect of what I am wearing right now. These pearls were given to me by my mother-in-law, and they are over 100 years old, and I absolutely love them. And pearls were worn with a number of outfits, whether they were going to a tennis match, or going for tea, or going for fine dining. Pearls were a staple in the old money aesthetic. So pearls have always been timeless. And even today, ladies, if you throw on a pair of pearls with a little black dress, it immediately upgrades your outfit. So pearls are still classic and timeless today. Now the next style habit I took away from the old money aesthetic is that the women would wear ascots and cat eye sunglasses. And I think this is such a classic look 
And I want to just insert a picture right here of sort of that interpretation that I put together of the ascot. And an ascot is simply a scarf that is tied around the head and then tied again around the neck. And once you throw on a pair of cat eye sunglasses, it looks so elegant and so refined. And I think this was a very popular style habit of the wealthy. Now they also wore hats that were very stylish. Some of them had pearls on them. Some had feathers on them. And the women also wore gloves. But this was just a really, really refined way of dressing. And the photos I'm sharing with you guys, I pulled from the 1950s and the 1960s. And in this era, ladies, they were very classy and very elegant. And I think that we can take some of the tips from how the women dressed back in the 1950s and the 1960s and incorporate them in our style habits for dressing today. Now with regard to clothing, I wanted to back up and talk about some of the materials that were used in the old money aesthetic. And of course their clothing were always steamed and pressed appropriately and well fitted. Now the materials that were mainly worn by the old money aesthetic were linen, wool, cashmere, cotton, and silk. So if you want to adapt the habit of the old money, you want to look for clothing that is typically made of these materials and also linen, wool, cashmere, and silk. They are always going to last you a lot longer than polyester, say for example. And in one of my previous videos, ladies, I talked about buying better quality material because less is more. It's better to have a few good quality pieces in your wardrobe than a lot of pieces that are made from polyester. And materials like wool, cotton, silk, cashmere, and linen, they're always going to give you your costs per wear. They're going to last you a very long time. And this was something that the old money aesthetic knew and also these materials just look and feel better on the bodice. So now ladies, I wanted to show you my recreation of an outfit that is similar to the old money aesthetic. And I created this look from something I already had in my closet. So I did not purchase anything to create this look. So the inspiration I used to create this look is a photo from the 1950s of Sophia Loren. So let's take a look at my recreation of this look. So the skirt and the blouse is made of silk. And I think this is a material that they would have worn in the old money aesthetic. I love how the skirt has this scalloped look at the bottom. And I bought this skirt and the top when we were in Italy, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. And then I'm pairing it with my pearl and gold bracelet from Miss Soma, and also my gold ring. So they wore very simple jewelry made of pearls, diamond, and gold. And this is also my pearl necklace from Miss Soma. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So please feel free to comment and let me know if you think I pulled this look off really well. But if you didn't, ladies, please be polite because remember, we are elegant and graceful in our speech. So be polite in your comments. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video of the old money aesthetic. And if you did, please hit the like button as that tells me what type of videos you guys enjoy watching. And also, if you are landing on my channel for the first time and you enjoy leveling up and becoming more elegant and graceful, then please consider subscribing to the channel and also be sure to turn on your notification bells so that you get notified every time one of my videos go live. Thanks for watching ladies and I'll see you in the next one.